Chapter 562 The Power of the Beast God, Yen Shaosh seemed a little stunned. You hell? He's back. I didn't know that. He left the academy not too long ago to go to the Sun Moon Empire for a mission, and I haven't seen him since. Shen Liner was standing behind him, and she rolled her eyes. This guy can just spout bullshit so naturally. To think that he's already at rank 97. Bullshit. I clearly felt his aura inside Shrek City. DTN's eyes flickered coldly. Don't try to smoke me, Yen Shaosh. You have 60 seconds to hand him over. Otherwise, don't blame me for not being polite. And how are you going to be impolite, Beast God? An elderly voice rang out as a beam of yellow light surged into the sky. This formidable aura crushed the pressure that the DTN had laid out in the sky. This yellow beam of light arrived in front of DTN in the blink of an eye. Hey! DTN stared at Eldersun, who had just appeared in front of him, and he was astonished yet again. He was already surprised at how Yan Shaosh had improved, but he wasn't concerned about someone who was only at rank 97. But Eldersun was different, and you could clearly feel Eldersun's second soul core. That wasn't something that just any living being could have. It was a true second soul core, one that reflected an ultimate duo's strength. There were many transcendent soul beasts who had several hundred thousand years of cultivation, who had the strength to rival a human ultimate duo, and their total soul power volume could definitely match up. But their chances of victory in an actual battle against an ultimate duo were comparatively low, and the reason was because an ultimate duo possessed a second soul core. It was incredibly hard for soul beasts to form their second soul core, since they could only achieve it through the Yin Yang complement method. The only two among the ten great savage beasts who had truly completed their second soul cores were the Beast God and the Evil Eye Tyrant King. That was the reason why the Evil Eye Tyrant King had dared to challenge him. Then, of course, savage beasts would become incredibly powerful after forming their second soul core. DTN even believed that all the ultimate duo in the world would be no match for him, even if they gathered together. However, DTN deeply understood how formidable ultimate duos were. Even though he had such an opinion, he was strong enough to defeat an ultimate duo, but he would also have to pay a price if he wanted to kill that ultimate duo. Therefore, he was greatly surprised when he felt that Elderson had become an ultimate duo. He was clear that Elderson had been stuck at rank 98 for many years, and with a human's natural physique, it was almost impossible for him to continue moving forward. And yet, he had done it. DTN nodded coldly. Sun Zi, do you really think that you can fight me just because you've become an ultimate duo? Elderson stared back coldly. There is only one way to find out. Shrek and the Great Stardo Forest have been at peace over the past few years, and we have tried to promote the spirit of Godo as much as possible. We have greatly reduced the hunting and killing of soul beasts inside your great stardo forest throughout the process. I don't know what it is that you want. Today, but do you really think that you can get away with provoking Shrek like this? DTN, if you don't give me an explanation today, we will not let you go in peace. Ellison dominated reason, and the first thing he did when he arrived was to seize the initiative. DTN's eyes flickered faintly. The truth was that the great stardo forest and Shrek were actually in a honeymoon period over the past few years. Both sides cooperated well, and there were much fewer deaths inside the great stardo forest. That was especially so after Hua Yuao, Bei Bei, Shu Sanchi, Jang Nanan, and the others swore inside that spirit pagoda that they would never hurt another soul beast. That made Bai Ji, the emerald swan, extremely touched. That also pulled their relationship even closer. This time, he had come forward brashly to ask for Hua Yuao because the changes he had felt in his body were quite uncalled for and unreasonable. DTN didn't really know what to say after Elderson chided him fiercely. Peace between both parties was very beneficial. DTN wanted to pluck Huo Yuao from Shrek City, but doing so would undoubtedly affect the peaceful outlook that they had established over the past few years. But how could he let this go if he didn't find Huo Yuao? He desperately wanted to know what had happened to Huo Yuao, and the reason why he couldn't even feel his reverse scales aura. Sun Zi, the reason why I'm here today is because there are some things I wish to ask Huo Yuao. I'm not trying to provoke or antagonize Shrek. Call him out, and I'll leave after asking him a few questions. DTN was formidable, but he had his scruples and concerns. His largest one was his kin inside the Great Stardo Forest, and his tone softened a little. Ellison heaved a sigh and said, "Beast God, Yuao is heavily injured because he had to fight a formidable enemy. He's barely breathing at the moment because he has suffered some kind of powerful attack. If you are really concerned about him, then you should help us fight against this formidable enemy. He's being hurt by a formidable enemy." DTN did believe part of what Elderson had said. Certain incredibly powerful attacks, such as the one he had witnessed from the Death God Dulo's Death God Pagoda, could possibly temporarily disable his reverse scale. If that was what had happened, then everything could be explained. DTN would never help humans resolve their own battles. However, the Great Stardo Forest could be considered in some sense to be Shrek Academy's ally. The Great Stardo Forest pretending they didn't know and not showing up was one thing, but DTN couldn't really say no if he was told in public. DTN hesitated before he said, Shrek has 10,000 years of foundations. How can Shrek have any problems dealing with such small and weak enemies? We'll talk about all that afterwards. Let me take a look at him first. I will find a way to treat him if his injuries are overly severe. You have to understand that I, too, do not wish him dead. He possesses the three-eyed golden lion's power of destiny after all. Take me to him. Elderson cussed in his mind. It's hard to trick him after all because of his experience. DTN is such a tough nut to crack. How could he take DTN to see Huo Yuao? Elderson naturally understood that the Beast God's sudden appearance had something to do with Huo Yuao breaking through and creating his second soul core, even though he didn't know how the Beast God could sense that. This was the only viable explanation. DTN's arrival. At this time also proved one thing, and that was the fact that Huo Yuao was just about to succeed. Elderson couldn't let DTN disturb Huo Yuao at such an important time. No matter what, Elderson heaved a faint sigh, and he shook his head exasperatedly yet resolutely. I'm afraid I can't do that, Beast God. We have already treated Yuao's injuries, and he's resting at the moment. Our doctors have specifically instructed that nobody is to disturb him. Why don't we do it this way? You can stay in the academy for now, and I'll take you to him once he's a little better. Hey. The Beast God's eyes flickered, as he could tell that something wasn't right. He grunted coldly and said, You're trying to buy time, Sun Z. Get him out here or take me to him. Otherwise, don't blame me for not being polite. I have been alive for several hundred thousand years, and I have seen too much of humanity's trickery. You're dreaming if you think you can lie to me. Elderson's expression changed as he lowered his voice and said, Beast God, are you trying to violate our pact and antagonize us humans? The Beast God's face turned black. He did just want to see who are you our situation, and he didn't want to affect what both parties shared through the Spirit Pagoda. That arrangement was beneficial for the entire Great Stardo Forest. After all, the Beast God hesitated for a moment before he made up his mind. The power of destiny was more important, because that was an important guarantee for his breakthrough during his next bottleneck. Don't make me repeat myself, Sun Z. My patience has its limits. Elderson's heart sank as he stared at the Beast God's ice eyes. He knew that he no longer had any wiggle room. All right, since you have no sympathy for our situation, then come. You have to defeat me if you wish to disturb Yuan's recovery. DTN's eyes sparkled. He wasn't angry, but his majesty was evident as his flowing black hair drifted in the wind. Are you challenging me? Elderson laughed and answered, I haven't found a suitable enemy to test my abilities after becoming an ultimate duo. Since the beast god is here today, then I have a perfect opportunity to test how far I am from the continent's most powerful individual. Very well. I won't go overboard. I will leave if you can hold off my onslaught for one hour. On the other hand, if you can't, I will not hurt anybody residing in Shrek City, and you'll take me to see who are you are. We won't affect our cooperation. Elderson's eyes sparkled. We'll talk about that after our fight. He searched higher into the sky as he spoke. DTN didn't move at all. Black shadows flashed as he reached an even higher altitude, and waited quietly. Yen Shaosh,
said, Sun Zi, you still only possess a human's resonant soul core, even though I don't know how you've managed this, you should understand that you don't have much of a chance against me. Ellison grunted coldly and said, How would I know if I don't try? To give me some pointers, beast god. Ellison raised his right hand as he spoke and pushed it towards Titian. The heavens trembled vigorously, an intense yellow light condensed into an enormous, bubbly tatty ball more than a thousand meters tall behind Ellison's back. The ball flickered continuously, and it was extremely magnificent. At their level, any simple movement was an extremely powerful attack. They simplified everything, and soul skills weren't that important anymore. Titian was still standing there, motionless. A black beam of light blasted from his chest, and Ellison felt the air in front of him begin to twist and contort vigorously as he pushed out with his palm. A terrifying suction force appeared in the next moment and completely absorbed his palm's force. Hey! Ellison was startled. Spatial power. DTM said plainly, I have been at this level for several hundred thousand years longer than you have. You are still a far cry from me in terms of your understanding in this respect. Even though soul beasts cannot become gods because we are limited by the god realm, no human in the Dulo continent could ever be my match. Ellison grunted coldly as he placed his palms in a circle in front of his chest. The godly tiny ball behind his back roared fearsomely as a denser material sphere of dirty yellow light appeared between his palms. This sphere appeared very peculiar. Its inside seemed material, but there were separate pieces floating on its surface. Every piece radiated with strange light, and some even seemed like there was water flowing between them. Hey! It was DTN's turn to be surprised. You're recreating the continent. Take this, Elderson said plainly. Heaven and Earth resonance. He pushed his hands forward slowly, and his movement was very gradual as the yellow sphere slowly rose and flew towards DTN at an incredibly slow speed. But right at this moment, a mystical event occurred. The ground beneath them, including Shrek City, the vast plains outside the city, and even the Sun Moon Empire's camp, began to radiate starry yellow light as they flew into the sky. The great Earth and everything that the naked eye could see seemed to awaken in that moment, and those dots of yellow light emanated dense Earth type energy as they surged hysterically towards the sky. The Sun Moon Empire's army was already aware when those two formidable individuals rose high into the sky. Juzi arrived outside as her class nine soul engineers escorted her. The Holy Ghost Church's powerful individuals also appeared outside with her. When the enormous godly tadpole that was a thousand meters long appeared behind Elderson, the first person to react in shock was the Holy Ghost Church's. Supreme Leader, John Lee Wu. Ultimate Dulu. Sunsi of Shrek Academy's Sea Gods Pavilion has become an ultimate Dulu. John Lee Wu's eyes were full of shock and incredulity. Evil Soul Masters did have an advantage over normal Soul Masters, but that advantage would cease to exist at a transcendent Dulu's level. John Lee Wu was more than aware of what an ultimate Dulu's appearance meant for them. The Holy Ghost Church's two ultimate Dulu were not with them. Typical Soul Tools couldn't hurt ultimate Dulu. John Lee Wu felt for the first time that Juzi's refusal to attack seemed reasonable, because Shrek Academy's foundations were truly thick and solid. It hadn't been long since Elder Mew's death, and yet another ultimate Dulu had already appeared. But who was his opponent? DTM was just a black shadow, and he didn't show his aura. Everyone from the Sun Moon Empire was speculating who could oppose an ultimate Dulu. Who could that be? Juzi frowned, and she didn't know what was happening either. An ultimate Dulu had appeared in Shrek Academy, and that was big news. Furthermore, he had an opponent, and it appeared like both parties were about to fight it out. That was strange. If both Ultimate Dulu belonged to Shrek Academy, then her plan would probably run into trouble. Ultimate Dulu was symbols of eternity and invincibility, so Juzi's camp would probably be in trouble if an Ultimate Dulu was bent on causing destruction. Right at this moment, as those tiny, compact yellow spots began rising from the earth, John Lee Wu's expression changed drastically as he looked on. John Lee Wu was a transcendent Dulu, and he understood what this meant. Sun Zi hasn't just become an Ultimate Dulu; he has also grasped his martial soul's true power. This is a cosmic phenomenon that happens when a soul master feeds his martial soul back to heaven and earth. He's using such a formidable attack from the get-go. Who exactly is his opponent? The sky suddenly darkened at this moment. Ellison's yellow radiance had lit up the sky, but now the horizon was starting to turn dark and gloomy. A bright dragon rock could be heard as an enormous dragon head appeared from behind the black shadow. This large dragon head was also more than a thousand meters tall, like Elder Sun's godly pool, but the dragon head was much more material and condensed, like an actual dragon had descended upon the world. But even a real dragon wouldn't have such a massive size. Shadows flickered as the dragon descended upon the world, and terrifying auras rippled outward. Purplish black rays of light dripped from the sky like raindrops, and these rays naturally broke apart after falling to a certain height into circles of dark purple light. They blocked the yellow light dots which were rising from the ground, and didn't allow a single dot to rise into the sky. That was. Can Dragon Uncle be here? This is the Black Dragon. Can it be Uncle's Darkness, Holy Dragon? But. John Lee Wu was both surprised and confused, but he quickly realized that this wasn't right, because he could see a pair of golden eyes. No, that's not Dragon Uncle. That, that is. That's the Beast God, Ditian, the golden eyes Black Dragon King, the most powerful individual in the world, the Great Stardo Forest Dictator. It's the Beast God, Ditian. The Sun Moon Empire fell silent when that was spoken. Even though they knew that the Great Stardo Forest soul beasts would never get involved in a war between humans, the Beast God's reputation was just too famous. He was already known as the most powerful individual in the world today. Back at the Mingdo Mountain Range, the Death God Dulu didn't have any advantage at all against Tuo Yuao when he drew upon the Beast God's strength through his reverse scale. It wasn't hard to see exactly how formidable the Beast God was, but in this moment, that black shadow in the sky was evidently not a projection of the Beast God. The Beast God was actually here. It was no wonder that Elder Sun, who was an ultimate Dulu, would give his full strength from the very beginning, and he had to use his strongest abilities to fight him. Who would dare to hold back against the Beast God? Terrifying auras resonated through the heavens, and the Sun Moon Empire could feel shivers running down their spines. There was a hysterical voice shouting in John Lee Wu's heart. The Beast God was acting out against Shrek City, so what did that mean? That meant their opportunity had arrived. If the Beast God could break the city, then their plan of not staging an offensive was no longer important. Shrek City would undoubtedly crumble when that happened, and nobody could resist that temptation under such circumstances. However, no matter how intense that voice was in his head, John Lee Wu couldn't say a single word as he stood there, because the overbearing pressure from the sky was filling him with fear. This was pressure from the most powerful individual in the world, pressure from the Beast God. Powerful individuals were powerful individuals after all. When the Sun Moon Empire heard that the black shadow in the sky was the Beast God, Etian, their first reaction was to retreat subconsciously instead of taking this opportunity to attack Shrek City. Juzi's clear and cold voice rang out in this moment. Pass my order. All soul tool fronts, prepare. Charge all long-range linked defensive soul tools and prepare to fire. Her voice was soft, but she announced her orders through a loudspeaker so that every soul engineer around could hear her. Those soul engineers who were startled and frightened seemed to quiver before they came to. Even John Lee Wu felt a little shameful, because not even he could match up to a little girl at a time like this. But he quickly explained this away to himself, because the unknowing wasn't guilty. She definitely didn't know how powerful the beast god was. The heavens and the earth transformed into a beautiful and spectacular sight. Purplish black and yellow colors that were filled with dots of energy intertwined and fought against each other. While Elder Sun's sphere came closer and closer to Ditian, Ditian stared at Elder Sun coldly. Do you really wish to fight to the death, Sun Zi? You should know that Shrek Academy can't possibly defend themselves against those enemy forces outside without you. Ditian wouldn't participate in a war between humans, but that didn't mean he didn't know what was happening. Elder Sun said plainly, I'm not the one who wishes to fight to my last breath. You are provoking us, and I am Shrek Academy's guardian. How can I
Yi Tian exclaimed furiously as he punched out with his fist. The golden eyes black dragon king's shadow roared fearsomely as he punched out. Elison didn't show any weakness at all. His eyes turned crystal yellow, and the godly tatty ball behind his back charged forward and clashed with the black dragon king. Elison had triggered the godly tatty ball's tatty bloodline with Elden Yu's help when he last battled the beast god. He managed to swallow Yi Tian with his tatty so that he couldn't participate in the beast wave, and that bought Shrek Academy sufficient time. But now, Elison had become an ultimate duo. It was a pity that he couldn't use his own strength to trigger his tatty's true power. The collision between them and their enormous martial souls happened at almost the same time. The sky suddenly darkened before light exploded through the air. Frightening soul power undulations rippled high in the skies, all the clouds and mist within several hundred square kilometers in the sky dissipated. However, not a single ray of sunlight peeked through the sky. All that could be seen were yellow and purplish black colors resisting each other. That terrifying yet magnificent aura shocked everyone watching. Shrek City and the Sun Moon Empire's great army were all watching this earth-shaking sight, but there were very few who truly understood what all that meant. However, everyone was aware that this battle was very important for Shrek Academy. John Lee arrived quietly next to Juzi and whispered, "When do we attack, Commander?" Juzi shook her head gently and said, "Now is not the time. We'll wait until the battle is decided. We have to wait and see." Imperial Tutor, I wish to ask you something. Hey, ask. Zhongli returned towards Juzi confusedly. The war god empress would seldom ask questions humbly. From what he remembered, Juzi lowered her voice and said, From your perspective, how large a threat do you think the beast god is to us? He's a very large threat. Zhongli Wu replied almost without hesitation. The beast god is known as the most powerful in the individual in the world. The great Stardo forest has a cornerstone with him around, and no matter who wishes to hunt soul beasts inside the great Stardo forest, they will have to be very careful. That includes my mother. Juzi smiled faintly and said, Unfortunately, you already have your ninth soul ring. Otherwise, perhaps this would be a good opportunity to hunt and kill him. If somebody can obtain the beast god as his soul ring, perhaps that person will take over as the strongest in the world. Zhongli Wu had never expected Juzi to say something like this, and he was momentarily taken aback. Taking the beast god as my soul ring? Not even he had considered something like this. In other words, unless soul masters were insane, nobody would ever consider that possibility. But that was the beast god, Yutian. Human desire was endless, and humans were greedy. John Lee Wu hadn't thought about that before Juzi brought it up. But when she spoke of that possibility, his heart immediately burned with passion. A soul ring won't be possible. But if I turn part of the beast god's spirit and part of his original body into a puppet, Avarice and greed chewed at John Lee Wu's heart like a million little maggots. Commander, I don't need Yutian as a soul ring. I would rather give it to the Emperor if that's possible. The Holy Ghost Church's secret methods, in combination with our soul engineer's most advanced soul tools, can likely preserve the beast god's soul ring for a long time. The Emperor has already become a title duo, but the Crown Prince hasn't. Furthermore, the beast god won't just produce a soul ring. He will definitely produce a soul bone. If we leave his soul ring and his soul bone for the Crown Prince, the Crown Prince shall become the most powerful individual in the world in the future. Juzi felt a tingle in her heart as she listened to his words, but she quickly recovered as she laughed coldly inside. She was trying to bait him, but he turned her words around and tried to bait her instead. The beast god's soul ring, humph, his soul ring may not even be suitable for my son. Only Juzi was clear that her son couldn't possibly have a dragon type martial soul like Shu Tianran did. Furthermore, Di Tian's element was darkness. While his soul ring would undoubtedly be incredibly powerful, there was a very low chance that his soul ring would be suitable for her son. However, her face revealed eagerness and passion even as those thoughts ran through her head. I'm afraid that's not ideal, Imperial Tutor. The most valuable parts of the beast god are his soul ring and his soul bone. How can we give them to the royal family? If we wish to kill the beast god, we need your support, Imperial Tutor. John Lee Wu smiled faintly and said, You don't have to be polite, Commander. We'll just take what we both need. I just want the beast god's corpse, and the royal family has no use for it anyway. His corpse will be much more useful if you were to give it to us. Juzi answered without hesitation. If we can really kill the beast god, we will have accomplished a great feat, and we will all benefit. We'll do everything according to your will, Imperial Tutor. John Lee Wu clenched his fist subconsciously. He knew very well what would happen if he could obtain the beast god's corpse. He only had to preserve part of the beast god's spirit, and he could craft a puppet out of the golden as black dragon king. He would become the most powerful individual in the world with the beast god's physical strength. He could even rely on this puppet to directly break through to become an ultimate duo. But John Lee Wu was also very shrewd and calculative. He was extremely excited in his heart, but his expression didn't reveal anything as he said. We cannot be hasty if we wish to fight the beast god. We have to wait for the best opportunity to strike, and hope that Elderson can severely injure him. The best outcome is if Elderson himself dies at the beast god's hands. We can kill two birds with one stone if that happens. Don't worry, Commander. The Holy Ghost Church will not hold back when the time comes. Juzi replied, All right, I will command all the Soul Tool Front offensive Soul Tools to cooperate with you. Let's just keep waiting. John Lee Wu contemplated momentarily before he said, This matter is extremely important, Commander. Let me go and make some preparations. All right, do as you wish, Imperial Tutor. Juzi hurriedly replied, John Lee Wu left, and he took the Holy Ghost Church's evil soul masters with him as they swiftly turned to leave. A faint smile appeared on Juzi's face as he watched their backs, but her smile was charged with cold murderousness. I'll have to wish you good luck then, Imperial Tutor. Elder Su suddenly appeared beside Juzi and asked softly, Commander, are we really helping the Holy Ghost Church obtain the Beast God's corpse? Juzi smiled plainly and said, Of course, as long as we can kill the Beast God. Elder Su was shocked for a moment before a thin smile quickly appeared on his face. What a fantastic scheme to kill two birds with one stone. The Commander lives up to her name. After all, she set a trap for the Holy Ghost Church in such a short period of time. This tremendous temptation was undoubtedly the best bait for the greedy Holy Ghost Church. Two silhouettes separated in the sky as Elderson retreated all the way between his godly tatty balls, two horns before he stabilized himself. The Beast God's formidable strength was on full display in this moment, as he was just pushed back a little more than ten meters. Elderson's face turned a little red as he felt his heart pulsing with fear. The Beast God wasn't known as the world's most powerful individual for nothing, and his strength exceeded his expectations. When he clashed with the Beast God, all he could feel was how deep Dtian's power was. Elderson could feel almost no end to Dtian's strength, and his frightening strength instantly vaporized his attack. Furthermore, Dtian seemed to be holding back, and that was the reason why Elderson could retreat in one piece. You should be able to tell, Sun Z, that you are still too far from me. Go, bring who are you out. I only wish to ask him a few questions. I won't do anything to him. I don't wish to kill you, Dtian said plainly. Elderson grunted coldly and said, Don't think you've won. He took a step forward as he spoke, and the godly tatty ball behind him growled deeply. Elderson disappeared into thin air just like that, and the ball's initially illusory figure grew material. This was Elderson's martial soul true body, godly tatty ball. The heavens and the earth, darkness and soil were in conflict, but the element of Earth's power was being completely suppressed. It couldn't go higher than a hundred meters above the surface. The godly tatty ball's long horns glowed with circles of yellow light before the ball suddenly accelerated and charged right at the golden eyes black dragon king. The ball charged crazily as rolling thunder seemed to boom through the heavens. Frightening explosions could be heard, like the entire sky was being trampled apart. Circles of yellow light expanded beneath the ball's feet and covered the golden eyes black dragon king's body. It was controlling gravity, and tremendous gravity tore at the golden eyes black dragon king's body in an attempt to arrest it. Dtian heaved a sigh and said, since you wish to die, I will give you a lesson that you will never forget. He turned around as he
and that frightening strength. Ji Duigan continued to think as he crossed his legs, sat down on the ground, and started meditating. This moment's revelation was far too important for him. Ji Duigan had been stuck as a soul dolo for a long time and couldn't break through at all because there was no way he could form his own soul core. Ji Duigan's cultivation method was different from everyone, and he had to find a path that belonged to him alone if he wished to become a titled dolo. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.